every genius was a quiet kid solving problems alone. If you're watching this video and you're that quiet kid or maybe that quiet adult who is doing self-study by themselves on a Saturday night, just trying to understand, just trying to catch up to the rest of the world, you're a genius in the making. Nobody, and I mean nobody on this earth, gets good at anything without doing that thing. If you want to get good at mathematics, the only way to get good at math is to do mathematics. There was this famous mathematician. He was very, very famous. He wrote a lot of really good books. His name was Paul Halmos. And I have a lot of his books. And he said that when he was trying to learn a new math subject, he would gather as many examples as he could. And this is an obvious statement, but it has an impact when it comes from a genius. A man like Paul Hamos, who, who was a genius. He wrote so many extremely advanced, advanced mathematics books. He was the top of his field. He was so smart that he said that one of the things he hated about mathematics was that he couldn't explain his work to other people because it was so complex. Anyways, I digress. Every genius was once a quiet kid studying alone you know, in their room on a kitchen table. If you're in college and you're just trying to get by, you're just trying to pass that statistics class or that algebra class, you're not alone. You're, you're, no, you're no different than that quiet kid who is 17 years old and is learning calculus two and is way ahead of the game and is sitting there Saturday night preparing for some math contest. I mean, th th there's no distinction. Math does not discriminate. You know, if, if you're studying advanced mathematics, you're still working hard. If you're studying basic mathematics, you're, you're working hard. So it doesn't matter the level of math that you're doing. It takes hard work regardless. And I guess I just wanted to make this video because I get a lot of emails from people, you know, all over the world. And the emails come from people of all ages. There's young people who email me, people who are 16, 17. A lot of college students email me from all over the world. Older people in their 60s and 70s. This is very common, believe it or not. There is a, a large percentage of older people, 60 plus, who, who watch these videos. And a lot of them are retired, a lot of them are doctors, or they've, they've had successful lives and careers. And for some reason, they decide to return to mathematics later in life. And I think it's because there's a purity to it. You know, there's, there's something beautiful about it. There's a satisfaction you get from working out math problems, whether they be computational or proofs alone in the room, it's rewarding. Just like that quiet kid who's 17 years old or 29 years old or 45 years old. You never know, right? Age, age does not matter as much as people think it does. You know, yes, your, your level of focus will, will diminish with age, you know, after you reach a certain age, maybe like 70s or 80s, I think, 
I think it can get harder. And I'm just speaking from what I've heard from talking to older mathematicians, but you know, th there was this mathematician, his name was Max Zorn. And he was a, a famous mathematician. And if you know about Zorn's Lemma, yes, this is the same Max Zorn. And I never met him, but I knew a man who knew Max Zorn. And this man, he passed away. He told me that even in his old age, I mean, he was really old, Max Zorn. I forgot how old he was when he died, but I mean, he did math up until his death. In his final years, he was still sharp as a tack. You know, he would go to the department talks and at the end of the talk, he would you know, raise his hand and ask some super deep question. So age you know, does not matter as much as you think. And that's how genius is made in mathematics and in anything, right? It's through practice, it's through doing, so if you're feeling alone, if you're sitting there with your mathematics and you're struggling and you feel like you are not making progress, you might be a genius in the making. You never know, right? These people who have done great things in math, you know, before they did those things, they were just regular people. And then when they did those great things and the world looks at them and says, oh, wow, look, they're a genius. But they were already a genius in the making when they were sitting alone doing math. And so I guess the message is, it doesn't matter what level you're at, you know, you might be a genius in the making. And if you don't become a genius, if you don't do something amazing in math, or, you know, you'll probably at least get to your goals and you'll learn what you need to learn. It'll make you stronger, it'll make you smarter. It'll make you better at decision-making. Now math changes your brain, changes the way you think, changes the way you talk. It, it really changes you as a human being. I know it changed me completely. So for all the quiet kids alone, sitting in a room on Saturday night, you know, all their friends are out there partying or going to the movies with girls or whatever, whatever people do, you know, you might be a genius in the making. You, know, you might be onto something here and don't give up. It's not wasted time. You know, time, time you spend doing mathematics is certainly not wasted time. It's time that is well spent. It's rewarding in your learning and it's good for you. I think that's all I wanted to say in this video. I have courses if you want to check them out. Links are in the description. They're on Udemy, but please use my links. You can go to my website from there and it has uh, all the courses there or all the links are also in the description. Calculus, algebra, etc. Tons of courses. Books, links in the description. My books have funny prices on purpose. I price them irrationally all my ebooks are two pi, all my paperbacks are four pi, and all my hardcovers are eight pi. If you're that quiet kid alone, sitting in a room doing math, I just want you to know that you should keep doing it. If people judge you and they call you names, and so what? It's gonna make you strong, not just at math, but at life. You know, math builds discipline, it builds character, Keep doing mathematics, my friends. Don't let anyone ever stop you. Stay strong.